Today, we're going to see how fast a Fent monster truck will go. What we've got right here is a super unrealistic, but about the most awesome thing I've ever seen. A Fent Tri-6 Vario. This thing is a beast. And... I may have, uh... <laughs> I may have done some stuff to it myself. So here it is, the Fent Tri-6. So you can change whatever color you want, room color, whatever color you want. Wheel brands, we've got all kinds. <laughs> we got all kinds of crazy stuff in here. Goodyears, I'm pretty sure I've got Goodyears on there now. We have trailer boards, Michelin's, I mean, duels all around there. <laughs> it's just crazy. And uh, even wheel weights on the front wheels, because you can't stop it. Oh, no. And I decided to mess with it. So we got a couple different engine options. Eh, yeah, so that's <laughs> that's the end game one. This is the one that I made. Everything's the same except for the engine options. This one, I have a 3,000 horsepower engine. And it is so powerful that it has a really hard time stopping yeah. And today, we are going... <laughs> oh, there's just no way to put it. This is silly. This is as silly as silly can be. What we've got to do is we got to come in with some planting uh, or some placeable grass. And we've got to get around some places that I may have gotten a little too close and a little too ambitious for where we're planting and that kind of thing. And those places are right over here. There's no way that we're getting up that hill right there. So what I'm saying is we take this uh, this grass texture and come around over here. Because it's fine without it. It's totally fine without it. Just like that. I know we came through and we plowed this up. But it's just... It ain't going to work. No. <laughs> it's not going to work. It's just too much, man. It's too much. We Every once in a while we go overboard. This was definitely one of those times where I went overboard and was like, well, I can do it. No, no, you can't. <laughs> How? How you gonna do it? We'll figure it out. No. <laughs> and that's about how that conversation with myself went. There we go. Get this nice and rounded off. Bam. Just like that. We're gonna fill the rest of this in. So if you guys are curious about what's exactly going on, uh, a couple days ago, maybe about a week ago at this time, we came through Mercury Farms, and I may or may not have plowed up most all of the map, as you can see. And so, because I plowed up most all of the map, I made the decision that I wanted to come in. <laughs> oh gosh, we're glitching out. I should probably calm down. Uh... I made the decision to come in and I wanted to plant it. And so that's what we're going to do today. <laughs> and we're going to use this. This is crazy. So the end game version is pretty nice. Uh, it's pretty fast. Uh, this one is twice as fast and twice as powerful. Um, if you do fast farming with this, you can plant at 124 miles per hour. Now, there's something about that that's just a bit realistic and the fact that the entire thing swings around when I try to turn. It's a bit off. Yeah, it's a bit off indeed. But we have 16,200 liters of fertilizer. We have 18,300 liters of seeds. We're planting wheat. That way we can come through and do just the dumbest straw harvest you've ever seen. <laughs> and it goes so fast. There's so much power. There's so much torque. The torque numbers on this is unfathomable. And it's really cool. <laughs> Let's drop it. Let's turn it on. Let's get a little double tap action and see. Uh, yeah, there we go. 14, 15, 16. One thing I'm going to do before we do anything. I'm going to put a limit on this because it was too much too much so i think i'm gonna set the limit to 35 for straightaways what we're gonna try and do is we're gonna try and hit two headlands around the entire thing and then come back around and once we hit those two headlands then we're gonna start hitting stuff in the middle and we'll try and 
do as best I can, but there's not a lot that can stop this. I was using the 26, 25, 24 meter cultivator, and I was using uh, Cultivator Create Fields to make this uh, make this entire map and, and do it up. And I got to tell you, it was overboard. It was way overboard. If you guys remember, it took us an hour to do three headlands with a uh, challenger. And fast farming as well. With one of these, <laughs> and with this, it took less than less than a half an hour to finish the place. It was crazy. So sit back, relax. We're going to hit our headlands. And we will see you very soon. That's the first headland right there, and we just finished with it. Not only that, we've got 63% of our seeds left, so we could probably hit, well, we could definitely hit one more headland, which is exactly what we're going to do. And then I think we're going to start breaking it up in parts and hopefully trying to divvy it out. I'm not going to put you guys through doing another headland, so we'll see you guys after this one. Here's what we've got. We've gotten this far, and we're almost out of seed. So... We picked up a 900 series, Black Edition. We got the Reboki Ninja, or Rebo, no, whatever, it's a Stara. And it's a Hawker Wagon. So what I can do is I can bring this up and I can get it, if I, if I can get it, a little laggy, if I can get it to position right above this guy right here, we'll be good. Now, I don't know if it's on seed or fertilizer. It's on one of the two, uh, that's all I know. So if this starts going in, we know that this this was seed, but if not, yeah, I was afraid of that. All right, so let's, yeah, immediately it started working. Check that out. What do you think? Ooh, yeah, I dig that. I'm liking that a whole lot. It's coming out pretty fast. I like it, I like it, I like it. Yo, real quick. Let's get in a uh, let's get in a thumbnail. Everybody say cheese. A one, two, three, cheese. Nice. You guys look good. I'll make sure to send it to you. <laughs> All right, let's make everything disappear now. Is this almost empty or slash full? It's got to be getting close, isn't it? Um, there it is. I was about to say I'm pretty sure the ninja is a little bit bigger than this guy. So let's get this moved. Let's see, let's get everything repositioned. Raise, lower, turned on. And go. And go, are we fast farming? We are fast farming, nice. Oh, we're stuck on a truck, or a tree. But I think this has enough horsepower to pull us out of here. Oh, it's trying, come on baby. Let's go. All right, I'm gonna, just, I'm gonna back up just a little bit. There we go. Just had to make it just a bit wider. That's all. So we are now full with seed, and uh, I don't think that we're gonna need fertilizer at all doing any of this. So we're gonna keep rocking and rolling through here. I'm almost done with all of the headlands, and so you'd be able to see exactly the outline of where everything is. I tell you what, guys, this is going to be absolutely ridiculous. And then, as soon as we harvest this field the first time, we are then going to turn around and get all the trees up and do it again. We're not doing one, we're doing two harvests on this. 
This is just stupid, crazy, ridiculous. So, uh, it is on PC. If you guys want to be part of the harvest, let me know down in the comments section below. I'd be happy to let you guys know how to do that. We're going to be doing it in one week. I'm very, very excited. I think, also, this is the end of this set of headlands. Yep, there it is. So, let's take a look here. So, this center section is cut out as all trees. There's nothing we can do there. And then all of this is open. There is a section around here, so we gotta hit that headland. And then there's a section around here and here. Otherwise, that is a pretty good representation of how just absolutely massive this whole rig is. Tell you what, we're gonna hit a headland around this little island too. Most of this stuff I did off screen because we, we just ran out of time doing stuff. And I could not physically get half enough time. I mean, it would have spent, what, three hours, four hours just uh, plowing and cultivating everything up. I didn't see the, the need to bother you guys for that long. But nonetheless, this, whew, this is something else. This is definitely something else. And then here through here, of course. Uh, but again, the first one is creating one field on Mercury with the trees. Pretty crazy. I'm loving it. Now you can see the headland that I've put around fields one, two, three, four, and five. Here we're about to do our headland around the hilltop. Oh, goodness. Here we go. Round and round and round we go. <laughs> <laughs> We've used so much seed since uh, since the last time you guys saw us. We haven't even done that much. And we're already 53% left. It's f goodness gracious. But this is not too bad. And I think this is our last headland that we have to run as well. Which is nice. See, one thing I'm having to do is behave. I'm having to behave really, really bad around some of these corners. Because all this thing wants to do is just kick up and go. And I don't want that to happen. All right, let's take a look. Let's make sure that this is it. Yep, so there's our uh, headland there. All of this is free and opened. Uh, I will be fixing this little chum thing right here as soon as I can. And then an island there, island here. And we've got one more island right here on the main farm. So we're gonna have to hit that as well. So let's keep rocking and rolling. I think as of this point now, we are getting very, very close to being done, at least with all this stuff. It's a long process. It's a very, very long process, but I'm loving it. Fill up number two, complete. We can kind of put this about right to... there, jump run. No, no, <laughs> come on. Yeah. Lord have mercy. All right. We're back here. Turn it on. Raise it up. Lower down. Boom, boom, boom. And then bring it back. Get that thing to close. There we go. Cool. Hey, we're rocking and rolling. We're rocking and rolling. We're doing what it is. Oh, come on. Stay left. There we go. A lot is getting done. We completed this whole upper section. Looks like we got a little chunk right there. And we're completing this section now. We're going to hit up that. And then we've only got one more place to hit and we're all done. Coming around to the main farm area. This was the last spot that we had. We have hit headlands on everywhere else and it is time. You can tell we got close. I wanted to leave this. I did delete most of the rest of the areas on the map, but I wanted to leave this one. Something about it. I just couldn't bring myself to delete it. But I did get real darn close to literally everything. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jim. I love you, bro. There we go. Come around here. Almost done with this headland. And you guys will be able to see how much we really do have left. And it's not a whole lot. I'll tell you, I've probably spent an hour to an hour and a half doing this total in game, like IRL. Let's see, let's slow this down. And you can see just what we've got left. We've got a couple little spots here and there that we need to hit. Actually, I think those are trees, so we'll be all right. But here, that's it. 
There's a couple little spots in between, but nothing too major, nothing that's gonna make this difficult. We'll just kind of go around them. Nice. We're almost done. I think we've got one more pass. Plus, we've got to get around the outside of this tree right here. Boom, done. Is it just this little sliver? No. It can't be. It is. This is it right here. Five, four, three, two, one. Ba boom. That's it. That is it. The entire map where I wanted to farm it has been done up. Oh, yeah. So I guess we don't need this anymore. What we need now, we need some, uh, some liquid fertilizer. I've got one that is going to do the trick because it will fertilize. Well, right now it does it at 32. I bet. Oh, man. Yep. This is kind of it's kind of what I've been dealing with. Uh, let's see how fast we can go with this. Just to show you guys, 103, 104, 105, 113. Yeah, it's uh, it's difficult to to go top speed in this thing and actually have complete control. I believe it's 124 is the unrealistic speed, 200 kilometers per hour. Can we hit it? I don't know if we can hit it. I know that it's got some like turbo drive gear where it gets to about 105 and then it takes off. Yep, just like that. <laughs> well, I don't think we're going to hit it today, but maybe uh, maybe next time we're in here, we will. So with that being said, that's going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. And all right, please subscribe. If you have any questions, drop those down in the comment section below. I'll be happy to help you guys out. But with that being said, I hope you have a great day. And we will see you later. Peace. I'm just finishing up. And check this out up here. Look at this. It's a jet. It's, it's a real plane. It's a jet plane. Oh, I wonder if we can go. I wonder if we can get it or if it's just all the way up in the air to where we just can't get to it. I, I don't feel like we're getting any closer. Are we? <laughs> We're still going up. Come on. Come on. We can get to it. We can get to it. Are we still flying? We're still getting higher. We're still getting higher. Oh, we're almost to the plane. We're almost to the plane. Come on. Oh, lame.